Right now, we're continuing to follow breaking news as well out of Suffolk. The fire department on the scene of a business fire at North Main Street, that business Carts Unlimited. I saw that the general registrar right there has it as a 1947 built building. Wow. Now, crews have been there since 10 o'clock last night. A lot of history in that building. They are currently working to put out the hot spots. We learned a woman and her son live in that building that caught fire, but thankfully they did make it out safely. Ten on your side's Nick Broadway joins us live from the scene now. Nick, we can see it looks like even more smoke pouring out of the building again. Yeah, it's just starting to pick up again here at Carts Unlimited in Suffolk. Still smoking now 10 hours roughly after the fire started. I'll step out of the way so you can see it. It still smells uh, like a fire too. There are neighbors who live about a half mile away who say they could smell the fire from that far away. And they still have much of North Main Street blocked off here, closing off the bridge across the Nansmont River. And they uh, have been using fire hydrants from across the river to attack this. Now they have uh, the street still closed off just to give them space, just, just for their own safety to make sure that they can still um, have what they needed to uh, take care of the hot spots still smoldering here. There is an apartment unit in the top level of this building. Uh, of course, that apartment unit is no more. The mother and 10 year old son who lived there were able to get out safely. They called 911 right away. I spoke with the mother off camera. She says that she feels like she's lost everything. Fortunately, she, she and her son do have a place to stay with their uh, sister, with her sister rather and uh, they are also uh, getting options through the Red Cross, according to the fire department. We did get video of this last night. Our news crews got here just after 10 o'clock. That was when real heavy smoke just kept unloading from Carts Unlimited. Again, this place uh, uh, sells and repairs golf carts as well as motorcycles, ATVs, and other smaller vehicles like that. Part of the building collapsed, mainly in the back. Firefighters have been worried about the structural integrity of the building as they watch for hot spots and stay on scene here. Suffolk's fire chief told us the flames spread quickly. Uh, within six minutes, units arrived, found this building behind us, uh, heavily involved in fire on one side of the building, fire through the roof, heavy smoke coming across the street. We did an aggressive attack inside, tried to keep the fire off the second floor, do searches. Uh, we, were verif we were able to verify that nobody was inside. Now the Department of Environmental Quality is on scene. Firefighters noted things like tires, fuel and batteries, things like that here as the fire burned. But right now they don't believe that any hazardous materials leaked out from the water that they use. We'll keep you up to date here on Wavy News 10. Live in Suffolk, Nick Broadway, 10 on your side.